All right, now we've got this nice and scuffed up. All right, and that will give the hot glue something to bite into and uh, bond the two plastics together with. So, all right, let's um, get this inch and a quarter here and a quarter from the joint like this should have to zoom in some more all right now we're going to go to an inch and a quarter there you go now we can see what's going on all right, so now I'm going to take this, bring this down. I'm going to bend this over where you can see it, hopefully. And uh, mark my inch and a quarter. All right, inch and a quarter is right here. All right. Now I can eyeball that up here. And I know that about right here, by eyeballing it, I'm at an inch and a quarter. Okay, and I can do it again here. Eyeballing this over. Okay, and I should be within an inch. That's a little bit out, but not terrible. Here's my inch and a quarter here. So we're just going to come inside to this mark right there and we will be good all right so that gives me my inch and a quarter yep perfect inch and a quarter all right now we're going to cut this Right now, the viewing audience, where are we at? We're at inch and a quarter. There we are. Okay, let's zoom if I can zoom maybe a little bit more. There you go. And so we go to this end of the 90, and we are at an inch and a quarter at the cut. There we are. Hope you can see that. Maybe you can't. Oh, well, we tried. Now, when I was cutting this, I put a slight angle, ever slight angle, pushing it the other direction in order to counter so it goes straight down, okay? Because that's a tendency to want to cut back this way. So to counter it, you put a slight twist on it as you're going down in. You got to feel it too, because you can't cut an angle on it. And you don't want to do that. It becomes a hassle to fix. All right, now. Now I can just actually, I don't know. We're going to just go this route right here. Okay, we're going to adjust this to this. All right. Well, it looks like I just feel the hand screw it. Okay. Now, then I'll have to take this. All right. I'm going to make up a brand new section here. So I can just leave this together. 
and use this next time I need a to the piece. I've got parts. Those unions are six dollars for those quarter and inch and a quarter unions that I'm working with right now. Here in California, anyways, a little over six bucks, thanks to inflated minimum wage. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, now because I don't have a union over here, I'm gonna have to cut this here. I'm gonna try to make this so I can use this next piece if I need a piece. Take this, I should go the yep. Take this out. Okay. Now oh boy. All right. There you have it. Now I'm gonna build everything to this between this elbow. Right, hold on, here, okay, and the pump over to this part there. So we're going from here over, let me spread this out, get a bigger view. Okay, now, so we're going from this elbow over to this opening there. So we're going from there across to here. All right. Okay, I had some water still continuing to come out of this pipe. And when I found out this trick, I made life was way simpler. Now, what I've done, if I can pull it out here, I can't quite reach it. I taken I have taken some bread. This is a hot dog bun. I took a little bit of bread, stuck it in the pipe here at the elbow. Let me zoom out of this. Okay. And I stuck pipe I took bread inside the pipe and that allowed me to dry off the pipe. And then put glue around it and then glue on the inside of this connection and then join the two together while it was dry after I had it on there the waters began to come out as you're seeing here all right looks like it's stopping actually the flow barely running there yeah it's still running a little bit. You can see a little piece of bread that just come out. Okay, anyways, that's how you do that. And uh, now I can go start the next process here. Okay, let's get it up here. Okay, now I am going to take this union, this piece that I built earlier, all right, and I am going to connect it here, all right, get that snugged up, okay, Now I can take my wrenches and finish tightening it up. Let 
adjusting this down. All right, let's see where we at. Now that's a little small. Okay, almost. A little more. Okay, we got it. Now we'll just continue to cinch this up. And now that I've got that cinched up, let's not forget this O-ring or we're going to have a leak. All right, let's get this up here. It's got a little recessed area that this pushes into. All right. And now we can begin to continue to build this outward. All right. I can tighten this up a little more if I need to with my wrenches. All right, so there we have that there. Now, the next state process, next thing we need to do in this process is we're gonna take this, all right, and it's gonna go in here, all right. Although I'm because that's metal and I have some Teflon tape here, this stuff is great. This is called, uh, oh, what is it? It's not Gorilla, it's blue and it's heavy duty Teflon tape. Okay, we're just going to wrap this around here. All right. I'm actually reusing it. It's so tough. I was able to reuse this. Okay. Which makes it nice. Okay. All right. Now, this isn't necessarily a have to. It's just a nice assurance that I like doing. Get that tightened down. All right. Get this tightened. There you go, it's good and snug. Got a slight gap at the bottom. All right. So we're good there now. We can start measuring up. <sighs> 